Hello everyone, this is Cam the Yellow Giraffe, and today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to set up your Raspberry Pi as a actual FM transmitter so you can put music files on it and then listen to it on your radio in your car, your house, or wherever you have your radio. So this tutorial is pretty quick. Um, actually, this, this part of the computer tutorial is only half of it. The other half is showing you how to actually physically set it up with a Raspberry Pi because you'll need to connect the wire to one of the GPI opens and without the wire the basically the transmission range is only going to be about 10 centimeters but I've decided to put a wire on and then at the end of that put an antenna connected to the wire pretty much and that changes my basically range to eh, 500 meters to about a kilometer like the farthest it's been that I've been able to just listen to it for a split second was about a kilometer away so the Pi has like a great range for the FM transmitter as long as you set it up correctly. So to dive right into this tutorial, the first thing we're going to want to do is to install libsnd file one dev. Oops. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to install this prerequisite for the program. It requires that to run. So I'm going to already assume that you've SSH'd into your Raspberry Pi. I have here. And then you'll, all you need to do is just type sudo apt-get install libsnd file one hyphen dev. And then it'll quickly look to see if you've installed. If not, it'll install it. And I'll be back once it's installed. Okay, so now that it has the prerequisites installed, we can actually get right into the project and clone the Git from basically GitHub. So to do that, the whole project is located at this link. And so what we're going to do is basically clone it and copy it onto our Pi. So to do that, this link is going to be in the description because it's it's a fairly long link to type. You just need to go and type git clone and then paste the URL there. Click enter. It'll clone it in, download everything, and put it into its own folder called pyfmrds, as it says right there. And that it shouldn't take long. It looks like it's pretty much finished already. And then what we can do is type cd pyfmrds. And watch the caps on this because it won't, if you just type pyfmrds in all lowercase, it won't find the folder. So be careful with the caps. And then once we're in here, if we do ls, we can just see that there are a few files here. And then we're going to want to go into the source. So we do cd source. And then we just type make. And basically what that does, just makes all the files up and then we can basically use it. So. It's a pretty quick process to set it up, and then you can start transmitting your, basically your own radio station from your Raspberry Pi. So I'll be back once this is finished compiling. So now it's done compiling. If we do ls in here, we can see it has a bunch of different files. And so some of these are WAV files, so those are our audio files. These other ones are just the program files themselves, and then we have PyFM RDS, which is the actual program that we use to run. So now, to run our program, just to make sure it's working right, you can just type sudo dot slash pi underscore fm underscore rds, and then to select an audio file. If we wanted to play sound dot wave, we could do hyphen audio, and then type sound dot wave. So basically, the how it works is you type hyphen audio, and then a space right after that, you put your wave file that you want to listen to. And then the other thing that we we shouldn't forget to do is set what frequency we want it to transmit on. So I'm going to type minus freak and then just say 99.5. Oops, 0.5. You click enter and it'll start broadcasting. So if we click enter, I'll see if it starts broadcasting on my radio. FM RDS transmitter using the Raspberry Pi. FM RDS transmitter using the Raspberry Pi. So as you can hear, it, it worked fairly well. That was from probably two or three feet away from the Raspberry Pi, but it's an older older style radio that basically, uh, it's not digital tuning, so you actually have to tune it. So the tuning was probably a little off, but on a newer radio, it actually sounds really good. The quality is really good with this, and I found with other uh, Pi transmitting programs, sometimes the volume's a little low, uh, but with Pi FM RDS, it's, it's usually pretty good, I found. So as you can see, this is worked pretty well. And I'll just go and show you my setup, like physical setup with the Raspberry Pi now. But the last thing I want to mention is uh, to stop the transmission, you can type that, run your program. It'll start transmitting, but you'll probably want to stop it at some point. 
And so to stop it, you just click Control C and it'll terminate it. So that's all there is to it. And now we'll get right into the actual design. Okay, so this is basically my setup. So as you can see here, here's the Raspberry Pi. Over here is the breadboard that I connected GPIO to. And then on the ground here is the cable that comes out. I've connected it to GPIO port, or they just call it GPIO 4, which is actually connection number 7. It's kind of confusing, but I'll, in the link of the video I'll have a description, a diagram of all these pins and how they all work. And basically, so yeah, I have the wire connected to the breadboard. It's about probably 2 or 3 feet long. And at the end of that, I have a little antenna. So that, as I said in the video, it works fairly well. I get a range of about 500 meters, but the max I've actually ever seen it do is just about a kilometer. So it has a pretty amazing range for 2 watts of power. And that's pretty much all there is to this video. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. I'll also link to the project on GitHub that this guy made. So you can see all the different commands there are, because I only included a couple of them in my video. But there's a bunch more for like the radio display and stuff. So if you're interested in doing that, check those out in the description. Other than that, have a good day.